easy. But if we fail to act and allow all of this to come in, I'm telling you within very, very short time, everything that they have will be squandered anyway. They can't do any of this without us. And in a way, we can't do any of this without them. All right? It's about reaching a compromise. The whole world is going to have to reach a proper kind of compromise. The value of why you can talk to your neighbour right, and, and have a friendship. Mostly in society, they're saying, oh, it's based on the law. And if you do that, oh, the, the police will arrest you. Well, it shouldn't be based on that, should it? It should be based on you are a good person. And therefore, you don't do things like that. Yeah? Because you understand the impact. You know, you are a life yourself. You don't want that to happen to you. Don't do it to others. That's the only way it's going to establish itself on the earth. It doesn't happen from the other. Like if I decide somebody else is not going to kill me. Because they might want to. I can only control myself, can't I? So I'm the one with the self-control. And people who don't have self-control, okay, and who are operating in big offices in government, that's dangerous, right? They're emotional, opportunistic, okay? These people are not stable people in the sense where they, 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 they don't have to worry, you know, about this and that because their house is paid for and they get wages. They can just concentrate on doing the best job they can. Just like the wisdom of Solomon, he paid those who laboured on the temple and he, he looked after them so that they put their heart and soul into it. This is our country. Don't you want to put your heart and soul into it? This is where you live. This is where your kids live. Don't you want to put your heart and soul into it? Because it's already in it. And therefore, these people must recognise and acknowledge that we are part of that. Okay? All of us. And they can't do their job without us. It's, it's, it's just not possible. All right? Everyone that goes along with it, they, they will never change anything. They will never really be known for doing anything. And I doubt the people that, they, that, that know them will have true, genuine respect. Yeah? You don't have to agree with me. A lot of people who know me, they say, well, you know, at the end of the day, I respect what you're trying to do. And for the reasons why you're trying to do it. Because it's not just about me. I'm here right now. But, you know, you're all going to be here and your children's all going to be here long after we're gone. we got to lose this selfish attitude. It's, it, it's a culture of selfishness that the West has developed in order that the rich man can obtain these things. And the rich man, he's just lost in his riches. You know, unhappy. He has a... A medical problem, a, a, a psychological problem where he feels that he needs all this money to be happy. And, but the minute he has the thing, the money or the thing that the money buys, he is not any happier. That happiness is lost. It's, it's very short. It doesn't really last. But let me tell you something. If you went to where I went to, went to Ethiopia and just f fed somebody who you never met in your life, just fed them, that will last forever. That feeling, that feeling will last forever. Not just with you, but with them. You can't spend that. No, nope. you can only pay it forward. That's the reality of where we all should be. You know, 2,000 years ago, Christ came with exactly the same concept, right? But maybe we didn't have the infrastructure, the technology to be able to manifest that living. But let me tell you right now, we do have the technology to be able to manifest that style of living, okay? And to free humanity from its burden and its labours and to be all equal in the sight of God then, you know, with, with the same opportunities and people willing to work together, to cooperate. Competition is dead. Competition will not work. Competition restricts great ideas. And says only this one. When all the ideas are great. You know? 3D printers. If everybody had a 3D printer in the house, why do you need a corporation selling you stuff? You just go on the computer and you maybe take part of a file or create your own file or download the file. And then, you know, I want my jumper. So you put it on the 3D printer that makes jumpers. Or you put it on the 3D printer that makes your motorbike or your car or your cricket bat. 
anything. Your shoes. You don't need corporations. We just need the resources. You know? And everybody, by working together, can live in harmony and trade those resources quite simply, quite easily. We actually have the technology, the infrastructure's there, it's set up. Okay? But there's going to be a lot of fear and resistance because a lot of people like their money. They, they love their money. That in itself is a type of addiction. People are addicted to the lifestyle that money can give them. It's an easy lifestyle. It's one of sometimes very little consequence for your responsibilities and your actions. You could, for example, just give £2 to Oxfam and say, well, that, that's me. You know, I've, I've done good in the world. I've given Oxfam £2. But has that actually helped anybody? I don't think that would quite feel the same to me somehow as actually going over there, seeing the child who Oxfam claimed they were going to be helping, but you actually did that and they met you and they spoke to you face to face and you, you touched their hand and you saw that person as a living human, breathing human being and your heart was touched in a fundamentally profound way. So much deeper than just donating £2, putting it in an envelope, sending that. You know, people are scared of their own depth. How deep they can be with themselves. They're scared of it. You know, they, they like lightweight thoughts. You know, thoughts that don't provoke too much emotion. Because it's emotion I think people are running from. If you really let your emotions feel the way you want to feel, maybe you'd cry. And maybe you, you have to. Maybe you should be crying. But you're running away from that deep down. Subconsciously, consciously, unconsciously. Who knows? But, you know, you can't see all this damage being done to humanity and not feel something good or bad you know at least that's a, that's a start okay we're dealing with a human being here got some feeling going on the heart's beating nice maybe we can sort out the thought process that led to that emotion and find a better remedy one that is you know everybody can win because there are remedies like that. Nobody's looking at that. And it's because we've got things like money. That's a big, big barrier. No, you know, the only person who wins with money is the person who controls money. That's it. That's why slavery exists. And the only way slavery will ever, ever, ever end is to end that idea of money. Because people will automatically love money. It's built in. You can't live without money. It's like saying, oh, I, I love you, my old boyfriend, my old girlfriend, I can't live without you. And you go back to them. If I if I told you leave your money now and never go back to it, you will go back to money. You will. It's very, very difficult to be isolated and self-sufficient because you need resources, you need land. You know, there'll be a few clever people who actually um, could answer that and say, no, I've done that. Well, you know, that's excellent for you. I'm proud of you. But why can't we all do it? It's a big enough planet, you know. It is very, very big, this planet, compared to the size of me. So, therefore, we do have an abundance of resources, but we have plenty of mismanagement of everything. And we need proper managers, people who think, have rational thinking, and can work things out and plan it properly. And know two and two equals four, and don't try and fraud people. And if there's a problem, let's just close it down and say there's a problem, we can't afford that. But we can work around this. Nobody wants to take a pay cut. No one wants to take, you know, half day week or whatever. You know, people job sharing and all that. Everybody's just got me, me, me. And me, me, me means, yes, you will be alone and you will die alone and nobody will help you because everyone's me, me, me. At the end of the world, everyone's going to go, me, me, me. No, change your thinking. Otherwise, we're all doomed, okay? At least I can say I'm not to blame. Peace and love, people. I love you all, okay? Let's get this thing fixed. Do your duty. If it means write a letter, write a letter. Don't waste time, because time is precious.